In these times of spiritual ignorance and confusion, many Christians have forgotten that symbols are an important language unto themselves. And unfortunately for them, the clergy, under the direction of the Vatican, have engaged in a determined effort to keep the flock from straying outside the confines of the pages of their Bibles and the interpretations of their priests. This has caused them to fear symbols, and while they fear the symbolic language of Christ, they will remain blind to the truths encoded within these symbols. As Jesus states in Mark 4, 11, 12, the Bible is written in a symbolic way because only those who have the courage to seek knowledge will uncover the divine truths encoded beneath the allegorical stories. And this is because they have shown themselves worthy of these truths. The majority, however, will follow the corrupted church down the wide path to destruction, ever seeing but never perceiving, ever hearing but never understanding. So what does the symbol of the Globus Cruciger represent? Well, we see this symbol often associated with Jesus and also depicted with royalty. Mary is also shown many times standing upon the orb or it is placed with the Christ child on her lap. To understand what these depictions of the Globus Cruciger represent, we first need to understand what this symbol embodies. If we look at the verse John 4, 23 to 24, it tells us that God is spirit and Numbers 23, 19 states that God is not a man or human. Therefore, the Globus Cruciger is the symbolic representation of God the Father united through the Holy Spirit to his divine offspring and firstborn divine son, Christ Jesus, which is why Jesus is always depicted with his left hand holding the Globus Cruciger or placed upon it. This is symbolically representing that the divine power of God the Father flows through the left hand and is then expressed through Jesus in the material world from the right hand. This is also why he is often depicted holding a scepter in his right hand, symbolically representing the expression of divine authority and power over the physical world. The symbol of Jesus with the Globus Cruciger is also representing how God the Father manifests in the physical world in the form of his divine human offspring. And the firstborn of his offspring, who embodies that divine spirit to the highest degree, is Jesus, therefore making him the Christ. However, this does not make Jesus God the Father. This makes Jesus the physical instrument of God the Father, which is why he is also called the arm of God in John 12, 38 and Isaiah 52, 10. For a more detailed understanding of what the symbol of the Christ represents, please watch the video titled Sacred Science of the Soul, What is the Christ? linked in the description. Many misinformed modern Christians often cite the verses John 10.30 where Jesus says, I and the Father are one, and John 14.9 where Jesus relays that whoever has seen me has seen the Father as evidence that Jesus is God the Father. But if they look at the symbolism of the Globus Cruciger placed between God the Father and Jesus, it becomes clear that Jesus is talking about the Holy Spirit that directly unites his divine soul with his Father. This is also represented in the symbolism of the tree and vine. Jesus is often depicted on the top branch of a tree which extends from God the Father or on the top of a vine. This is the symbolic representation of Jesus being the direct divine branch extending from God the Father into the physical world. As he states in John 15:1, I am the true vine and my Father is the vine dresser. 
So even though the branch is part of the tree, the branch is not the tree. Even though Jesus is the vine, he says that his father is the vine dresser. And just as the arm and hand are part of the body, the arm and hand are not the body. Thus, just as the Spirit of God the Father unites the Divine Son to the Father, it does not make the Son the Father. And the symbol of the Globus Cruciger embodies this truth completely.